So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Well, hello everyone. This is Robin Norgren and I'm your host of Montessori, Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'd like to start a series on a book based on a book called Love Poems from God. Um, it was translated by Daniel Ladinsky and he has taken 12 sacred voices from the East and the West and brought together some of the poetry that really expresses in multiple um, forms, um, the way in which we experience our love towards God and, and the love from God. The first person I wanted to highlight, uh, the name is Rabia, R-A-B-I-A. It says, when God said, my hands are yours, I saw that I could heal any creature in this world. I saw that the divine beauty in each heart is the root of all time and space. Here's a little bit of insight on Rabia. Rabia of Basra is without doubt the most popular and influential of female Islamic saints and a central figure in the Sufi tradition. She was born nearly 500 years before Rumi, and although it is rarely said, she perhaps more than any other poet, influenced his writings. Rabia grew up in a part of ancient Mesopotamia that is now Iraq. She was the fourth daughter of impoverished parents, and a story connected with her birth tells of the Prophet Muhammad appearing to her father in a dream to tell him that his daughter would be revered as a great saint. Let me share a couple of her poems. This first one's called, The Way the Forest Shelters. I know about love the way the fields know about light. The way the forest shelters. The way an animal's divine raw desire seeks to unite with whatever might please its soul. Without a single straight thought of remorse. There is a powerful delegation in us that lobbies every moment for contentment. How will you ever find peace unless you yield to love? The way the gracious earth does to our hands impulse. Here's another one. It's titled, It Works. Would you come if someone called you by the wrong name? I wept for years because for years he did not enter my arms. Then one night I was told a secret. Perhaps the name you call God is not really his. Maybe it is just an alias. I thought about this and came up with a pet name for my beloved I never mentioned to others. All I can say is, it works. Last one, In My Soul, it's called. In my soul there is a temple a shrine, a mosque, a church where I kneel. Prayer should bring us to an altar where no walls or names exist. Is there not a region of love where the sovereignty is illumined nothing? 
where ecstasy gets poured into itself and becomes lost? Where the wing is fully alive but has no mind or body? In my soul, there is a temple, a shrine, a mosque, a church that dissolve, that dissolves in God. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you know someone who would be encouraged by this message, please make sure to share. And of course, subscribe on your favorite podcast venue.